Hello and welcome to how to build a camper on a trailer and as you can see my frame underneath there is I bought that one as an ATV trailer however uh, when you look very closely you can see that up front it has a bracket for the propane platform and in the papers registration it actually says that it is an RV recreational vehicle trailer so I'm good with the registration. So here on my floorboards, I had a stock of cedar planks I just painted with Tramclad, one of the last oil paints you can get that, that went well. And then my framing I did for the base. And here is the nose of my humpy. <laughs> and I uh, used for the outside, um, this is ranch wall. Uh, this is fur ranch wall, which is a little bit more sturdy. And, and harder. Inside is done by two by twos and two by fours. And up there you can see my nice cedar two by fours, um, which are sturdy and lightweight. So that was pretty cool. And I used Tyvek under the ranch wall on the outside. And insulation was then done with styrofoam. Here we see it from the outside finished. Um, if you pay attention to the roof, I put a roof membrane on and I used a pond liner. So that's a really cool and affordable way to put a, put a nice, um, basically a rubber roof on your home built camper, RV, tiny house, what have you. Uh, it's just screwed on so I can replace it if ever need to. My door is a recycled door from an RV. Uh, we butchered. Unfortunately, this one is broken, you know, like most RV stuff is not made for longevity. Here are my um, bolts I, uh, from the outside and um, if you put one of those in, make sure you put, I call it a brow, you know, um, to re deflect the rain. Rain deflection is the most important thing when you build one like this. And here's my sweetie. Here's my four-legged sweetie. And here's my camper on the inside. I call him humpy because as you have seen from the outside it has a bit of a hump up here to give me the height over the bed and uh, it's gray and eventually I will paint a mural of a humpback whale on it. So I ended up with a little ledge up there. It's the way I designed it. can put stuff like books and Another knickknack. Well, that's my door. Some nice art uh, had been given at one point. There is a lantern with an alcohol burner in it. And it does a decent job. Not for, you know, continuous use. Oh, there's a corner missing up there. Well, I still have to do this. I put marine portholes in. And there is the upper bunk. The big pillows are storage pillows. There are blankets in there. And then we do have a lower, kind of like, I use it as my sofa. I crash there. Uh, because it's cooler <laughs> than up on the bunk. There's the fridge. There is counter space. Place for my old iMac. And um, I haven't put in the services yet. So we'll have a 12 volt sink there. Tank underneath. There you go. And I still have to put the big electrical 12 volt panel in there. So these are the stairs going up there. The upper bunk and lots of storage inside. Okay, and we do have the bathroom here. So another little portal window. A really cool mirror I found. Oh, there it is. I thought battery powered. Thought it was a really nice idea. 
and um, to have kind of like an urinal with a bottle there. And there's my shavings for the, for the composting toilet. Uh, that heater I will not use in here because it's a little bit scary for a closed room. But I use that one in my dome in the back, which is basically like a tent. Nice cedar ceilings, which you can't afford today anymore. Not even for a little camper. inside thanks for watching